My name is Karina and welcome to the Karina Chronicles. Today I will do a long awaited and highly requested video with showing you my physical TBR of 2022. <music> So, people have asked to see all my bookshelves and do a tour of all my books plenty of times and that's not this. <laughs> I am going to do that one day, but I plan on like rearranging all my books once per year. And when I'm doing that again, then I will also film it for you, of course, and you will see it and you can see all my books. But I thought it would be a nice new tradition to start the year with a physical TBR, which means that all the books that I own and haven't read yet are in this video. So if you are newer to booktube, you don't watch that much booktube, you might think, isn't that boring? One book, next book, why would I want to see that? I don't know. I don't know, I cannot tell you, but I like to see them and people request them, so people like to see them, and I'll just make it. And for me, it's fun to see next year how many books I actually have read, <laughs> if the number is going down, because there will also, of course, be new books that make the number go up again. So it will be fun, I hope, <laughs> and we'll see. Uh, one slight thingy. I have no time to record this, so I will do like every bookshelf that I have at a different time. So you might see like a part of my bed rope <laughs> and all those kind of things because I really filmed it at random times. But you can see all the books that I own. Oh, and so one other slight thing. Um, some books I did read, so don't be like, oh my God, have you never read that book? But I own a new copy and if I buy new copies, which I almost never do, but if I do for some random reason, I of course think that I should read them because why would you buy a book and then not read it? So those books are still on my physical TBR of 2022. Let's quickly go in this because otherwise it's going to get way too long. The most difficult part, my actual bookcase that you always see. It is the most difficult part because it's hard to get through the books that I haven't read yet. But on the other end, there are a lot of books that I did read already. So maybe I will quickly go through it. I don't know. Let's start. A Once Upon a Time Tale reawakened by the writers of the series that are not on this book. The Passenger, The Darkest Minds, Never Fade. And In the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken. Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. Marked, Betrayed, Chosen and Untamed by PC Cast and Kristin Cast. The Test, The Study and The Exam by Joel Charbonneau. City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls and City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. Verwelken. Vrees and Verbreken by Lauren De Stefano. Last Bus to Woodstock by Colin Dexter. The Story of Anne Frank. Undertaking Love by Cat French. Playing for the Ashes by Elizabeth George. Incendio by Tess Gernsen. Verlaten. Honger. Plaag. Leugens. Angst. And Licht by Michael Grant. The Elegant Universe by Brian Green. Anne Frank, My Best Friend by Alison Leslie Gold. The Dubliners by James Joy. Soldier, Legion and Inferno by Julie Kagawa. Fallen and Stormen by Lauren Kate. English Fairy Tales and Legends by Rosalind Carven. Reality Boy by A.S. King. The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. My Mooiste Herinnering Eindigt Hier by Erik Lindstrom. Sevenster, Wolfsbloed. Nachtrijder and Leeuwenhart by Alexandra Penrin Lowe. Legend by Mary Lou. Studio Sex by Lisa Marklund. Evermore, Blue Moon and Shadowland by Alison Noel. Freaky Sexy by Joyce Carol Oates. Delirium Amores 
Pandemonium and Requiem by Lauren Oliver, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling, Tenzai by Carol Shields, Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas, Beowulf in the Translation by G.R.R. Tolkien, Rendezvous by Esther Verhoef, Hot Mess by Lucy Fine, The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas, The Adventures of Alice by Lewis Carroll, Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervant, Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne, The Life and the... <laughs> Oké, okay. Het Leven van de Lotgevallen van Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. Oh my god, so many books. <laughs> And now we're going to the books that are most awkward because those are the books that I should have read already. So they're in a bag in my bedroom. But let's quickly go on because this already took so much time. And sorry for pronouncing things wrong. It's just you can see it yourself. You know how you pronounce it probably better. The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. Daughter of the Deep by Rick Riordan. Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Elderton. Cersei by Madeline Miller. How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. The Wandelaar by Adrian van Dis. These are the bookshelves in my bedroom. And the lower shelf is kind of like my nightstand. So those are the books I plan on reading very, very, very soon. And the upper ones are those I borrow. So those will not be in this video. Uh, the ones I get from book boxes and the ones I get from people as gifts. Um, but as you see, <laughs> it's hard to get all the books off easily, like one by one, because then all books will just fall down. So I need them take to take them off all and then I'll show you. So then you know. <laughs> the Seven Sisters by Lucinda Riley. All the Girls I've Been by Tess Sharpie. The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue by Fee Schwab. The Novice by Taryn Matharu. The Falling in Love Montage by Kiera Smith. Het Hart van de Adelaar by Emily Arends. The Geur van Groen by Pamela Sharon. Bijna Echt by Lisa van Kampenhout. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Ray Bearer by Jordan Ivueco. The Jungle Books by Rudyard Kipling. Koning van het Sintelwoud by Jen Minkman. Inferno by Dante, translated by Lies Lavreijse. Unsinkable by Lotte van den Oort. Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. Ik zie ik zie by Ellie Marnie. Het Licht van Lorelei by Jen Minkman. My Office Space, uh, quite some books that I already read, but also quite some books I didn't, and I can hardly reach the top shelf. So this is going to be hard, but let's try. Dutch classics, so you won't know them all. Max Havelaar by Montetulli. The Aanslag by Harry Moedisch. The Kleine Blonde Dood by Boudewijn Boeg. Bezonken Rood by Jeroen Brouwers. Van de Koele Meren des Doods van Frederik van Ede. Het Gouden Ei bij Tim Cabré. De Avonden bij Gerard Reven. Eline Veren bij Louis Coupeus. Karakter bij F. Bordewijk. Hersenschimmer bij Bern Lef. Hollands Glorie bij Jan de Hartog. Ik Jan Kramer bij Jan Kramer. Het Wassende Water bij Herman de Man. Heren van de Thee bij Hella S. Hazen. Rituelen bij Kees Noten. Het Meisje met het Rode Haar bij Teun de Vries. Dorp aan de Rivier bij Anton Kolen. A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. The Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. City of Secrets by Mary Hoffman. The One by Kira Kaas. Enders by Lisa Price. The Rosie Effect by Graham Simpson. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. City of Ships by Mary Hoffman. The Hire by Kira Kaas. Talon by Julie Kagawa. Een Vlucht Regenwulpen by Maarten het Hart. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. City of Swords by Mary Hoffman. The Crown by Kira Kaas. Rogue by Julie Kagawa. Turks Fruit by Jan Wolkers. So these books are mostly books from my youth that I read like a million of times. So that's a great thing. But there are some books that didn't fit anywhere else that are also here or books that I still need to sell. 
so that are also here so yeah okay let's take a quick look the canterbury tales by geoffrey Carcher. fluiten naar de overkant liggen in het graf zet je hart uit je hoofd all by toon hermans iedereen is in de war by joep van het hek three parks which are free books in the netherlands i have the one of 2019 and the one of 2020 here and the one of 2021 so that was actually it. I really hope you enjoyed. I thought it was actually quite fun to see all the books that I still have to read, but there are so many. I will put the number on the screen because I didn't count while filming, but I will count while editing. So this is the number of books that I own and haven't read yet, which is probably shameful. <laughs> very, very shameful. So. I hope that number will be less when I do this video next year, but there will be most definitely some books that are not on here yet and will be on there next year, but there will also be some books that I have read. I am certain of it. So we will see. I really enjoyed this. I hope you did too. If you liked this video, please leave a like. And if you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell, you will be notified whenever I post a new video. I hope you'll have a lovely day filled with books, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! This was so much fun to do. I really, really enjoyed myself. I just wish I had a little bit more time. I'm sorry, I'm really figuring out how to plan my life with this filming, but we'll see how it works out.